Hi, I'm Centra, and I will be presenting messages using Clear Vision Dual Deck. This message is for Aquarius. Your first message is Dances in the Rain. So what do you do when the storm rages? Do you get swept up in it or do you stay and sway with its command? Quite naturally, the initial shock of the storm can stiffen you with freezing droplets attacking you from above. But subsequently, once it rains enough, you may not even feel the cold or your body's temperature will work to adjust. And before you know it, you're in it swaying with the storm. To have the power to dance joyfully amidst the chaotic rainfall and throw your hips to the sound of the thunder while being illuminated by the bright crackling of lightning bolts, that's true alchemy. Take note that oftentimes the true danger that lies within the storm is not the actuality of the elements, but is truly hidden within our own Stiffness. stiffness of the mind, body, or spirit will cause stagnancy in the feelings of being left out in the cold. Stiffness will bring danger as circumstances change rapidly. So one must stay agile. One must learn to dance in the rain. One must learn to sway in the stormy weather. So rain through the rain. Your second message is, Madam Chiefess, at this moment, it matters not if you can physically see it, for there is divine power behind your internal sight. It may be dark with a jungle of obstacles to pass through, but know that you shall, with all angles protected, go forward and lead the way. A bright and shining accomplishment is ahead for both of you and your tribe, if you do. Be passionate, be proud, and use your best perspective. Stand tall and have faith in yourself because believe me, goddess, both the universe and your tribe already has an enormous amount of faith in you. At this time, use your divine intuition to light your path. You may now be in a position or situation you feel unequipped or inexperienced in, but know that you have the natural abilities to pull you through to the light. Your team, be it a physical team or one spiritual team, are behind you. They trust you and are confident you can lead them to victory. It is time you shared that same confidence. You can do it. Your third message is, mind your manifestation. Intense, yet gentle, a seedling of a whisper is planted within one's mind and indeed that is all it takes a tiny seed deep rooted in consciousness and nurtured with desire this tiny inclination holds a bounty of potential that cannot yet be seen but with faith and patient action be visualized and properly nurtured into full bloom so that idea that thought that thing you want to do do it the seed has been planted and the necessary care will unfold into your palm for you to provide. Nurture your seed should you withstand the elements of your physical, mental, and environmental spaces and abound with the priority and honor of the seed. A bountiful harvest awaits you. So can you do it? Of course you can. But often the hardest part is just beginning but once you water that seed and shine your light on it just a bit, it will take on a life of its own. So how do you bring what's out of sight into sight with the use of the parallel of your mental and physical capabilities? You will be able to produce the manifestation you have in mind. So be patient, be attentive, be protective. Your season of the bountiful harvest shall come. And your fourth message is imposter syndrome. Psst. 
It's all in your head. Those feelings you feel of inferiority, non-deserveness, and isolation are all effects of imposter syndrome. A time in which one cannot see at all who they are. First, know that you are your primary source of abundance. You are abundant both mentally and physically. And even if you don't feel it at this moment, you indeed possess the ability to unlock a massive amount of abundance from your core. However, within this state of self-imprisonment, none of that potential or abundance shall serve any benefit. You must figure out how to gather that abundance up and get it out of your head. Do not allow your temporary void of confidence to shackle you to the darkness any longer. You can break free easier than you think and you must. The balance of complacency and change is necessary, but also quite dangerous. For the same things that cover can choke. At this time, you may have a severe negative viewpoint of yourself that is overpowering your mental space and choking your actions towards a clear transformation. You may feel you have lost your unique voice or even may have forgotten what makes you, you. Renew your belief in your purity of self. This darkness you are in is not yours. And with that, I would like to share my symbols in the bag with you to help you on your journey. Okay, Aquarius, I'm going to pull out three symbols for you. Okay. Get up in here real good. All right, there we go. All right. We have, oh, we have Pisces. We have zero. And we have the number 11, which is you, 11. Okay, so let's see in your chart, where is Pisces for you? Pisces is your second house of income, of values. And what I see is that you will be making money um, slowly because we have Saturn there. Um, also, we have Neptune there. And be careful with your money. Be careful giving money to others. And have a budget, okay? Because you would think that you have this amount and you may not. That's Neptune there. Um, that's what I see. So be careful with your money there. Also, you have the number 11, and the number 11 is you, Aquarius. You now have Pluto transiting. So with Pluto being in your 11th house of Aquarius, you will feel this Pluto energy working in your career, in the world for you. And why do I say that? Because Pluto rules your 10th house of Scorpio. The ruler of Scorpio, you will be able to speak your truth, speak your mind. Having Pallas Athena, this asteroid of thinking and being wise, sitting in that tenth house of yours, you'll be noticed in the things that you say, what you speak about. People will basically follow you based on your wisdom. And that's so funny because I'm thinking about your message here. So yes, I, I see that. They will follow you. They will listen to you. They will even come to you and ask your opinion. And so now we have zero. So when I think of zero, I think of a number you can play. And I think of, um yeah, a couple of numbers you can play. So we know Pisces is 12. We know we have a zero and we have an 11. So you can play 12, zero, 11. <laughs> you are 11 zero, 12. Okay, so let's review. Dances in the rain. Madam Chiefess, mind your manifestation. Imposter syndrome. And your symbols are Pisces, 0, and 11. And with that, I hope you have enjoyed this message. Bye for now.